Hello everyone. So today's agenda is to discuss about company settings and app settings. First we have over here is company settings. So as you can see the company settings includes the basic information about your company. It includes the company name, company email, company phone, company website as well as the company address. So once you have filled in all the details you just have to click the save button. Next up we have app settings over here. First we have the date format. You can choose any type of date format that you want. I'm choosing month, date and year. Then we have the time format. You can choose the time format between 12 hour or 24 hour one. I'm choosing the 24 hour format. Then we have the time zone. You can select the time zone your company is working from. Next up we have the default currency. If you cannot find the currency uh, here, you can always go up to the currency settings and uh, add up the new currency that you want. You can uh, check the description box to learn more about the currency settings. Next we have the language option. Now if you cannot find your language over here, you can always go to the language settings and add up the new language that you want. If you want to learn more about the language settings, you can check our description box down below. Next up, we have the session driver option. So it is basically where the session data will be stored for each request. So we have two options over here, file and database. We would recommend the database option as it gives you more control and is more manageable as well as it's more secure. Now next up we have the app debug option so it allows you to regulate the information about the error shown to the user if you enable this option all the details about the error will be shown to the user and if you disable it error will be only shown as the server error. Now we have the app update option this option allows you to hide or show the update message on the dashboard as well as the update log over here. Now we have the enable cache option. It is basically the temporary data stored on your computer to make the software run faster and it will improve your uh, online experience. So if you want, uh, you can enable or disable this option according to your need. Now next up we have the file upload setting. You can set up the maximum file size for upload according to your need. Now next up we have the allowed file type for upload. You can add or subtract any type of uh, file you want. Now next up is allow client sign up. Now if you select this option allow client sign up, this uh, other option will also appear that is need admin approval after client sign up. So if you want your clients to sign up themselves on the software, you can use this option. Now next up we have the Google Map key. So this provides the geographical restriction for your employee log login and logout. So you can enter the Google Map key or adjust through latitudes and longitudes over here. Now you can enable the restriction from the attendance settings. Once you have filled in all the details, you can just click the save option and you have completed the app settings. Thank you.